at one point I was literally traveling with fifty thousand dollars U.S. cash on my body because I had to pay for tea. I knew that my God, if if people knew what I had on me, I'd be history so quick, and someone would be much richer. Now I, I don't need to travel with any money, and I have great relationships. But it, it still is necessary in, in many situations, which with the way I do business in China, you know, the farmers, you know, they've worked hard all year, they've got their product, they know it's good, they don't want to wait two months to get paid. Pay them well, cash, money in the hand, they go home happy. As long as we can keep farmers happy, they'll continue to do the work that we appreciate, you know, providing good tea. But I, I've been in situations, you know, I was on a book contract with 10 Speed Press and they wanted some pictures of wild tea growing. So I went off to in the mountains by myself because it, it was hard to get locals to go with me. They were so afraid of snakes and, you know, whatever. So I just go off by myself. and. Uh, I was up there very excited, I found some wild tea and I was taking photographs and I fell off the mountain and I dislocated my shoulder. My shoulder was over here and uh, my god I didn't know how to set it but I used brute force and I got my shoulder back in. So the first place I had come to was a snake wine shop. It was on the outskirts of town and I walk in, it was the first light I saw. What is snake wine? Snake wine, <laughs> uh, it was their specialty. This was in Fujian province. And there, it was in an area that is known for their uh, tasty and medicinal snake wine. I could bring out a couple of bottles if you want to see some. Sure. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, you're not too, <laughs> okay, if people aren't too squeamish oh, with yeah. snakes. Are there uh, snakes in it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. So I'll bring some in here and you can... Uh, so I'm... Back the story? Yeah, back yeah. The story? snake tea, what is it? You okay. got some. <laughs> uh, so the first place I come to, I see a light. I go in there and I see shells and shells of all these different snakes in glass bottles with wine in there and I needed something. I, I needed to nourish my body and my spirit. So I started drinking these different snake wines. And uh, this is one of the wines from that area. So. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> these are commercial Holy cow, wines. Holy crazy. And. Uh, oh my gosh. I was picturing like a little worm. No. That is. And this is. Uh, amazing. And here's another one I got, which is a very interesting. Holy. One. So this one smokes. includes all the herbs and such. Uh, oh you know, with, with the, the wine. Uh, <laughs> this looks like basic Chinese herbs. Yeah. One last thing about the this little snake wine story here is. Uh, months later, when I went to a Chinese doctor for my shoulder, you know, because I still had a lot of pain, but uh, when I did finally go to a doctor, uh, one of the things he prescribed for me was snake wine. So, uh, and it turns out that snake wine is very good for healing the connective tissue in the body. So uh, whether it was provenance or coincidence, I can't say, but that I ended up in the snake wine place and was drinking this maybe was significant. Yeah, and you know, we're gonna get a shot of Jesse here tasting these wines. All right. <laughs> They're both very different. This one has more I guess herbal flavor? Yeah, you'll taste more ginseng. Maybe I'll go with that one. Herbaceous. Then. I like the herbaceous snake quality. There's a couple snakes in that one. Uh -huh. 
This one has three, nice. and this oh, one I has oh, five. So they're it, eating the tail, like they're all connected. Yeah. Holy moly. All right. Are these poisonous snakes? Uh, I can't, I can't speak about the snakes. Uh, I don't know what kind uh, of are. Many of the snakes I use, of course, are raised specifically for okay. this. Are you ready? Okay. So, Kampei. Kampei. Actually, Kampei is bottoms up, but you don't need to do that with this. You can sip it if you like. I think I'll do bottoms up. But wow. I tell you, it taste, every time I taste that, it puts me right back into really? that wow. snake wine shop because that, that's that's the taste I remember. And once you've had that taste, there's nothing else like that. My other wine there has also um, dog penis in there and things <laughs> like this. It's considered very healthy and uh, fortifying kind of, uh, fortifying for male energy right. for, yeah, for the yang part of our body wow they don't have that at whole foods yet <laughs> i think fda <laughs> would have a, a few things to say about yeah. that so here we have this the straight snake wine with no herbal blend David, thank you so much for snake wine and your tea and for your storytelling. <laughs> it was really great. And um, hopefully I'll see you out and about. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you for coming out and yeah. it was fun drinking with you. Great. <laughs>